Yes, Spark is fourth. And that's the 14th foul with 222 remaining. A huge shot by Jalen Brown, but I still think that Tyler Hero should be in this ballgame offensively. Struggling to score. I wonder if it's a uh, if he's hurt. Spruce for three. And it's got it. Max Spruce from way downtown. The Heat back up by four. What a clutch shot from Spruce, his fourth three-pointer of the game. Gets it again against Struce. Shot clock at three. Brown step back. Throws it inside. Deflected out of bounds. And it's going to be a 24-second violation. And not only a big shot on one end by Struce, but the competitive nature of, of getting a stop against the guy rolling right now in Brown. And gets it to a stance and gets a big-time defensive play. And the co-sign that he didn't give him an angle this time. He wasn't on his side. He was square in front of him. 22 turnovers for Boston. 1.37 remaining, he clinging to a four-point lead. Struce catches. Back up top out of Bile. Shot clock winding down. Out of Bile's got to shoot it. Head fake, leans in, jumper. It's good. Bam out of Bile, knocks it down. It's a six-point game. Made that shot look like it was some contact also. 29 for out of Bile. Tatum, bad pass. Lowry comes up with it. Gives it a Tucker. Yet another Celtic turnover. And Grant Williams with a foul. It'll be free throws with 107 remaining. Celtics going to look back on this game and the careless mistakes, turning the basketball over, and then the big fouls in the bonus giving them easy free throws. 23 points <laughs> have led 23 turnovers have led to 29 points. Mark, you can't win that way, coach. Well, this is going to be one of the most improbable road wins for the Heat. I mean, no Butler, Lowry first game back, 28 to five, 6 now, free throw differential. And the Heat go up by 7, upcoming national TV schedule. WNBA tomorrow, plus TNT game 3 of the West, and Monday we'll be right back here in Boston. The Heat perhaps on the verge. Now going up 2-1 to this best of seven series. Two clutch free throws there from P.J. Tucker. And Ime Udoka will use one of his two final timeouts. Brown fires a three. Back to the rim won't go. Tip by the Biles. Tucker has it. And a loose ball foul is going to go against Miami. Both teams in the penalty now. So free throws for Boston, a chance to cut it to six. Right, <laughs> tells it off for Eric Spolster right now. So out of bio, they call it on Struess. So Struess with his sport. Make that five on Struess. And Grant Williams to the line. He's two for two tonight. See his numbers in the playoffs. Huge free throws right here. And you see the timeouts. Miami still with two. Boston has one. Matt Riley's team had a 26-point lead in the first half. It was cut to one here in the fourth quarter. And trying to hold on. Another furious comeback. We've seen so many in this NBA postseason. And this is where Marcus Smart is good at creating contact. The little double team. Brown deflects it. Uh, Byron throws it in the front court. They just beat the eight-second mark. Oladipo on the drive, and Smart with a foul with 10 on the shot clock. Once you defend that long, you, you, you just trust your defense and get a stop. 10 seconds on the shot clock, no sense of committing the foul and allowing Oladipo to go to the line for two. And this is this the second. Dangerous pass, stolen by Lowry. 
Fly low with a heads up play. Struce packs it in. Oh, what a turnaround. Another turnover which has crushed the Celtics and the lead up to nine with 42 seconds remaining. Their 19th steal of the game, a franchise playoff record. 19 steals. That's just casual and intelligent play on Lowry's part. And Struess, who of course hit that huge three after the lead was cut to one. And all the depot. Well, out of bio picked the perfect the 2022 playoffs. And Tucker. What Tucker did on Jason Tatum. Tatum, 3 of 14 from the field. Only 10 points. Forced him into a bunch of turnovers. Brown catches, fires, connects. Damon Brown from downtown. It's back to six again. And Eric Spose is going to use one of his two final timeouts. And that's really a bad play by the Heat. The one guy who's got it rolling tonight in the air. A 40-point game for Jalen Brown. That's big time. And he's going to look back and realize he gave away a couple of possessions by being careless. An outstanding job of fighting, battling, and giving his team. If you're the Celtics, how do you how do you do this in terms of defense? How much time before you foul? What's what's the situation? Well, I think it's really interesting, Mike. Will Miami exactly what they're going to do? So Lowry, Oladipo, out of bio, Struce. Larry with that heads up play, stealing the inbounds. And this is where you have to, not much is called. So you're going to have to cut to get free with great strength and force. They put two guys in the front court, everybody else in the back court, trusting those guys to create an open. Williams looking to guard, lob it in out of bounds. And the ball deflected out of bounds. It'll be interesting, Mike, if you don't call a foul. Oh, you can't. They've already used their... Yeah. But that was a foul. And they no longer do that. They just changed the rule this year when the officials used to last two minutes every out-of-bounds call. Not the case anymore. My apologies. That's a foul. Though. That's a foul. Lowry lobs it in. And a foul. Let's see if the foul occurred before the ball was released. That would be an away-from-the-play foul. They'll probably look to see that. If that's the case, it's one free throw. There's their exposure coming up. And you have to know, this is what Marcus Smart does. He's going to create havoc and contact. He's going to ball timing to see if the ball was released on the throw in. Well, it depends on when they called it. It looks like he had released. I thought the foul was there. I mean, there's like five fouls. <laughs> smart. Right? I mean, he's grabbing him. Like. That's smart sixth foul. So now 39.6 seconds remaining. Again, a six point lead right now for Miami. Here's Jimmy Cable. Following review, the ball had been released on the throw in, so we have two free throws. We're in the penalty. Both teams been in the penalty for a while. So the Tucker, who was questionable coming into this game with that left knee contusion. What a game he's had. 15 points, 7 rebounds, and some just suffocating defense on Jason Tatum. And a technical on Marcus Smart. A uh, Smart and teammates impacting this one. In game one made a big difference in the second. There's some similarities between them two. Well, especially Lowry early on. Did a great job of getting guys going. Tucker knocks down. Never come across. He's wanted to obtain him for a while. Clutch free throw shooting here. Back up to nine. Brown runs into Horford. Back to Horford. Grant Williams, fake, fires, three-pointer, that's good. Well, they keep knocking down threes to keep them in. It's, again, a six-point game, but they need turnovers. Oladipo on the backboard. And a foul on Jalen Brown as Oladipo goes down hard. Doesn't particularly like the hard foul. Exposure didn't like the foul either. Just don't tell me another review is 
That's just a foul. Yeah, I think they're going to look to see if it's a player. The one thing you talked about, Coach, and I totally agree. This may come down to who's healthy, and just as if well, Tatum left and came back. Smart left and came back. Jimmy Butler did not come out from the locker room in the second half with knee inflammation. That obviously is critical going forward. Contact, pushing the man, airborne player out of bounds. So we have two shots, Miami, and Miami possession. Well, that should pretty much do it. Again, this knockdown some free throws this game is over. Flagrant one on Grant Williams. 